everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is another summer haul and it is going to be Lakeshore Learning. Before I show you all of the homeschool goodies, I have a few things I wanna tell you. The first of which is don't forget to head over to my Instagram because there is a coordinating giveaway for every summer haul. And this week's coordinating giveaway is from Lakeshore Learning. You have the chance to win five randomly selected games for your homeschool. So you could potentially win some of the things I'm going to be showing you in today's video. The other thing I wanted to tell you before I show you all of this stuff is make sure you are signed up. Go to Lakeshore Learning and subscribe for their email and their text because they text and email separate coupons sometimes and you can kind of use them to your advantage. So some are free shipping, some are 25% off your entire order, some are a specific dollar amount off, um, some are buy one, get one half off. And like I said, you'll get different ones in text and different ones in email. So I actually have three separate purchases. We made two orders or we placed two orders and then we went to the Lakeshore store. Um, and I did that because like if you get $20 off a hundred, if you do smaller orders, you're saving more money. So make sure you sign up because it makes it a little bit more affordable to be able to do things like that. Also, when you're getting ready to buy multiples of something make sure they don't have a bundle created because I bought quite a few like board games they came in a bundle package and you save $20 by buying them in the bundle versus buying them individually. Okay, that's all my tips. Now let's go ahead and get started. Most of what I purchased was very specific and intentional because you can go broke in Lakeshore. They have so much awesomeness. And it was either things that we have used in the past from them that we love that I knew would be really good in our homeschool or it was things that I specifically knew I wanted to work with her on. Not like I was walking through Lakeshore and I just bought everything because it looked awesome, which I could have done, but I restrained myself. The one thing I really knew that I went in the store with like the intention of looking for something was writing. Writing is something I really wanted to work with Emily on this year. So I went in to specifically find something for that. What I left with was the Build a Paragraph Flipbook. So this is a book that has different topics in it. So we have friends, pets, sports, family, favorite food, beach. And then within each topic, there are uh, details and then a conclusion. So you could see, like, let's say right here, we're going to talk about the beach. And here are our three details from the beach. And then our conclusion. So we have, or I'm sorry, for friends. So we have friends that are special, funny, kind, and then I have the best friends in the whole wide world could be your conclusion. So it's a really great way to kind of have an outline for a paragraph and help her write them to start with, I felt like, to really help her see that we need three details and a conclusion, and here is the way to start that. And then along those same lines, I also picked up the Build a Story flipbook. So this one includes um, the character, the setting, the event, and the conclusion. So you would just flip to find those four different things. And then on the back of this one, it also has some transitional words to help you transition from you know one topic to the next or from one sentence to the next. The last thing I grabbed with writing intentions was the writing process folder. So this, takes you through the whole writing process. Over here, we have some writing topics. Here we have overused words and commonly misspelled words. And then when you open it all the way up, you have the four pockets that take you through the process. So there's pre-writing, draft, revise, and final slash edit. And each of those pockets have the steps for each of those processes. And then on the very back of the folder, you have the revising checklist and the editing checklist. So I just thought it was kind of cool that this would help her, you know, see how the process went and exactly what needed to be done. So that is what I grabbed with writing specifically in mind. Pretty much everything else that I picked up was things that we've used from them in the past that I know we love and I know we wanted to like level up in our homeschool. The first of which is the Power Pen nonfiction and fiction reading comprehension cards. I didn't need the Power Pen because I still have the Power Pen from last year when we used these cards. This is just the fourth grade. What I love about these is that they are just short little, you know, paragraph or two for her to read. 
And then when she's done reading, there are a few questions on the back that she can use the power pen to answer. I really, really love that this is something that she can do independently. So I try to make sure I have a few independent activities on hand um, for days I don't feel good or days I'm just too busy or whatever. Days me and her aren't jiving. Um, that's really common when you're homeschooling and only that if you're both having a bad day, the whole homeschool day is going to be shot. So I like having some things like that that she can do independently. And that's one of them. They're also really good for strewing. Another independent activity that we loved last year that I wanted to level up is um, these quickies. This was the whole language arts bundle from Lakeshore. So it's for vocabulary, literature, grammar and writing and informational text. And then Inside each of these boxes are these little like envelopes, if you will, that you just pull out and that's the activity. So this one is academic vocabulary and on the back it has the directions for what you're supposed to do. You just open it and it has the little cards in here ready to go. So basically it's like a ready-made center for fourth to fifth grade standards for that grade um, and those topics. I'm not sure where that went, so we're just gonna stick that in there. And then there's also, separately, all of the answer cards. So this is all the answer cards for all of the different activities in this box. So that is the vocabulary box. And it includes Greek and Latin roots and affixes, idioms, similes and metaphors, context clues, academic vocabulary, synonyms and antonyms, dictionary skills, and frequently confused words. Then we also have literature, and that includes determining theme, character traits, making inferences, poetry, drama, and prose, summarizing, compare and con contrast, point of view, and words and context. And then we have informational text, which is text structures, first and second hand accounts, what happened and why, connections in text, making inferences, text features, supporting evidence, and summarizing. And then we have grammar and writing, which is complete sentences, commas, pronouns and adverbs, verb tense, capitalization and punctuation, adjective order, connections, prepositions, and interjections, and then progressive and perfect verb tenses. And let me just show you one more time. Like I said, they just have each of them has these really cute color coded little boxes that just slide right out. And then they have Velcro on them. So they seal nicely and the cards are already pre-cut and then little, you know, ready to go. Like it really is a ready-made center. So between all four of these language arts is covered for centers. Now I still like to print and have fun centers, but this just makes sure I have something independent on hand, ready to go that I don't have to do it all. I don't have to prep it. I don't have to oversee it. Um, now I do keep the answer card separate. Sometimes I will check her, sometimes Kevin will check her, sometimes I'll give her the answer card and let her check herself so she can see what she did wrong. But I do keep those separate, just so you know. I don't put them in there. The next thing we grabbed were these splash games. So it is splash multiplication and splash division. They play very similar to um, if you're familiar with the learning resource pop games, like the pop for sight words, pop for addition, these just happen to be multiplication and division. So you have these little raft cards, they're like little floats, and then they have multiplication or division problems. Um, now these do actually have two separate ways to play though. There's a challenge and a team play. So if your child was maybe just starting out, you could have them do the team play with you or with their siblings or classmates if they're in a class um, and then you could step it up to the challenge whichever one that they needed to do and they do also have these in subtraction and addition we just didn't need them but if that's where your kiddo is at they have those as well pretty much everything else we have is games surprise surprise this one is the fascinating facts about the human body um, I did not intend to purchase this one, Explore the Human Body from Inside Out, but it was on display when we went to the store, and it was just kind of cool. I couldn't walk away. And it was on sale, too. So you have this human body. He's a pretty good size. He's about the size of my forearm. Um, and all of his pieces come out. And then you have some trivia 
questions and facts to go with him. So I just kind of thought, oh, that would be a fun way to learn a little bit more about the human body. And that's one topic that we haven't done a lot with that we're hoping to do more with this year. So it just seemed like a fun thing to add to our collection. Okay, I'm not really sure how I didn't already have this one. When I walked through the store, I was like, oh, that game looks familiar, but I don't own it. So we went ahead and picked it up. It is the Allowance Game, um, and it is basically a money game. And Lord knows we could use all of that. So it's be the first to save $20. Save and spend your allowance. Start your own business. Lose, learn to make change and handle money. And we really need some help with saving money. So I thought the fact that this game encouraged you to save versus spend was really, really great. The next thing that I got, remember I got told you guys about bundling. So this was the math bundle. It is the fourth and fifth grade um, mastering math. I'm not sure what they call it, but it was a fourth and fifth grade math bundle and you got these four games. And so we have multiply, divide, and conquer, a multiplication and division game. And then we have ATM action, a money game. Climb the cliff, a fraction game and the math star a word problem game we can use all the help with word problems we can get so the next bundle or set that I purchased I actually don't have all of the games for that one because there were two that were back ordered so they sent me the four individually and then told me they would send me the two soon i believe they'll be here in three weeks um i just didn't want to wait to do this video for you guys and i was still able to get that bundle discount so that was really really great so what i did is i purchased the reading comprehension it's level two it was grades four through five we did level one um, grades two through three last year and so I went ahead and, like I said, leveled up to the next one. So this is Wipeout, a vocabulary game. Hazard Mountain, which is an inference game. Capture the Flag, a word comprehension game. Sorry, a reading comprehension game. You guys, I can't talk. Um, and then Main Street Shopping, which is a main idea. Okay, now I do want to say something about these games. We love them, but I know I talk a lot about games. So sometimes when I talk about games, it's a game that is like happens to be educational, right? I mean, every game is really teaching something, but a lot of times people prefer sneaky games. So games that um, like Scrabble. Scrabble is just a really fun game that happens to work on spelling skills, right? It's not specifically intended to be an educational game. These games are specifically intended to be educational games. So a lot of them are, let me see if I can open one of these for you, are specifically, you know, standard based games. So this is the Main Street Shopping game. And you can see here that the cards that you are reading have a paragraph you read the paragraph and it asks you, what is the main idea of this paragraph? I mean, it is a very specific concept that you're working on and it feels very educational. However, it is still, at least in my daughter's opinion, a lot more fun than having a piece of paper where she has to read multiple paragraphs and you know fill in some sort of bubble like a worksheet. Now, if you have a worksheet loving kid, then that's great, but I don't. And so these give me the ability to still have her reading paragraphs and answering questions or doing multiple math problems or working on word problems in what she deems a more fun, hands-on, interactive way. And so that's, that's what these are for us. But again, I just want you to know before you order one and you're like, Jessica recommended this game. They are intended to be educational, so they are very school-ish type games. Okay, there's my little disclaimer on that. The very last thing that I have, I believe this is our third or fourth year buying it. We love it. I buy it every year. And like I said, I was buying with the intention of this being everything I bought from Lakeshore for the whole year. So we went ahead and bought the Are You Ready for Fifth Grade Game Show. Now, obviously, we will not be using this anytime soon. 
it will probably be waiting until um, next summer, in fact, because we are just now using the Are You Ready for Fourth Grade game show right now, currently. But I was really trying to get everything that I would need slash want for the whole year. So I went ahead and grabbed this. Plus it was on sale and they tend to go on sale here towards the end of the school year because they know that's when people want them. So I think it was like $19.99 instead of the normal $29.99. So that is everything. That is all of my Lakeshore Learning Hall. That's all of the goodies. Again, most of it is games or a few independent activities or writing. I would love if you would head over to my Instagram and enter to win that giveaway so you can win some Lakeshore Learning goodies for yourself.